Hello and welcome to this video on the surface area of a cylinder. Now in previous videos we saw that we could find the surface area of a solid by finding the total area of the net of that solid. Now this is the net of a cylinder. We can see that we've got the two circles at the top and the bottom. There we go, the two circles. And then if we were to take a cylinder and we were to make a cut here and fold it out, we can see that the curved surface area of the cylinder becomes a rectangle. So that's that rectangle here. Now, how do we find the total area of this net so that we have the total surface area of this cylinder? Well, this is the radius here, which is also the radius of the circle. And we know how to find the area of the circle. We've got two of those. And then we've got this height here, which you might be able to see is the height of this rectangle in the net. And then what is the length of this rectangle here? Now, if we think about it, if we were to take a cylinder and slit it and roll it out, the cylinder, to make a flat surface, this length here of the rectangle is going to be the same as the total circumference of the circle. Now, what is the circumference of a circle? Well, it's 2 pi r. So this length here would be 2 pi r because it's the circumference of a circle. And now we can find this total area. So the total surface area is going to be, well, two circles. Well, each circle has a area of pi r squared. So we've got two lots of pi r squared. And then we're going to add the area of this rectangle. Now, the area of a rectangle is just the length times the height. So it's 2 pi r times by the height, which is h. And there we go. That is the total surface area of a cylinder. Now, let's use that to solve these particular problems here. We've got the cylinder here, and we're going to find the surface area. So the surface area, I'd just use SA for surface area, is going to be the two circles, top and bottom. So we've got two lots of pi r squared, so pi times 4 squared. And then we're going to add the area of the curved surface, which we saw was 2 pi r h. So it's 2 pi r, which is 4 times h, which is 10. And then if we were to simplify that, well, 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32. So it's 32 pi. And then we're going to add, well, 2 times 4 times 10 is 80. So it's 80 pi. And then 32 lots of pi plus 80 lots of pi is 112 lots of pi. And if we were to put that into our calculator, we could have just put the whole thing in to simplify it. We get 351.8. 9 and the unit is centimeters squared. What about this second one? It's algebraic this time. So we've got a radius of 3x and we've got a length of 4x. So the surface area is going to be, well, the same as before, the two circles. So two circles, so two lots of pi r squared. Notice that I'm putting the radius of 3x in brackets because I want all of 3x squared. And then I'm going to add on, well, 2 pi r h. So 2 pi r, which is 3x, and then h, the height of the cylinder, or the length, which is 4x. Again, I'm making use of brackets here. So let's just try and simplify this. Well, 3x squared, that's 3x times 3x, which will be 9x squared. So it's 2 pi times 9x squared. We'll simplify that in a second. Plus... Then we've got 2 times 3 times 4, that is 24. And then we've got the pi, and then we've got x times x, which is x squared. Do you remember, when we're ordering the things within a term, we always have the number first, any constants like pi next, and then any variables after. So let's simplify this further. 2 times 9 is 18, so it's 18 pi x squared plus 24 pi x squared. And that is equal to... 42 pi x squared. Now we're told here that the surface area of this cylinder is 210 pi. So we can make this equal to 210 pi. And then we just have to solve for x. Now I notice we've got pi on both sides, so we could divide both sides by pi. So that gives us 42 x squared is equal to 210. Now x is being squared, then you're times it by 42. So we're going to divide both sides by 42. And 210 divided by 42 is equal to 5. So x squared is equal to 5. And that means if we square root both sides, we get x is the square root of 5. 